Hey everybody, Abby here. Um, this is going to be my first tutorial look for my Emmy series. I do have to give a lot of credit to Temtalia because she did bring all the Emmy coverage with all the looks um, that I'm going to be recreating. I have five of them, so this is part one of five. Um, so definitely go check that out, guys. Um, but this is my recreation of Leah Michelle's look. Um, I'm not saying that it looks exactly like what she had, and I'm not saying that I look like her, but this is just my own take and my own spin on it. Um, but it's just a navy royal blue smoky eye um, with just a bronze cheek and a nudish pink on the lips. So if you guys want to know how to achieve this look, keep on watching. Hey guys, um, so I have the first eye done on this look. It is just a very smoky, um, royal blue, navy blue kind of look. This is my interpretation of it. I'm not saying that it looks exactly like what she's wearing because you can't see. They don't close their eyes, so you obviously can't see that close. Um, and I'm also going to be trying this a little closer to my eye so you guys can maybe see me better. And we'll see how this tutorial goes that way. So let's start. Um, I primed my eyes with Max Painterly Paint Pot. Um, I used this because I wanted to pretty much make my eye just a blank canvas, no color, no nothing, because I'm not going to be using that much of a color base. I'm only going to be um, using Annabelle's blue eyeliner. You can use any blue eyeliner, but I'm just going to smudge it along my upper lash line. This does not have to be perfect because we are going to be smudging this. Just try to get as close to the lash line and then just bring it up just a little bit. You don't need a super lot because um, this eyeliner is very pigmented and very creamy so it will go a long way. Um, I'm going to be using a q-tip just to smudge color up sorry guys I'm really just trying how this works with this method so not going to be perfect but this color base doesn't have to be perfect because we're going to be going over with shadow obviously I just wanted to give it some blue depth before I went over it with that eyeshadow just so it's more true blue. Okay. And then I'm going to be taking the flat eyeliner brush from Coastal Sense and this is the Palladio Navy Blue. I'm just going to be taking a teeny tiny bit of this on the eyeliner brush and just going to be taking it across my lash line just kind of like I'm lining my eyes just because this is going to give a nice deep blue just to have a dark base you know to start the smoking effect then I'm going to be taking this is Deep Truth from MAC this is from the Shadowy Lady Quad I did depot this it's just a shimmery um, royal blue. And I'm going to be taking my e.l.f. blending brush to do this. Just going to pick up a little bit. You don't need a lot because you can't take away. You can always add more, but you can't take away. But I'm just going to be putting this close to my lash line and then just going to take it into the crease. Just to get even coverage on my lid. Okay, and then we're going to just start smoking it up. Don't need to add any more. Just try to pull what color you have on your lid up towards the brow bone. I lied. I just need a little more. So, we're just going to be taking it, sweeping it, bringing it up, and just 
to get that smoky effect. You could also do this with black, and it would be a great classic smoky eye brown. This is pretty versatile. You can use it pretty much with any color. Take just a little more on the side. It's a little more vibrant on the side I just did. Okay. And I did get a little bit on my lower lash line. I'm just going to wipe that away and just clean up a little bit. Clean the color up. Okay, then I'm going to be taking the blending brush from Studio Tools and I'm going to be taking my 28 palette from Coastal Scents. If I could ever open it. <laughs> and then I'm just going to be taking this medium beige right here and just swirling it around on that brush and taking it up on my brow bone. This is also going to help to blend the harsh lines with the smoky and also give me a really nice brow bone highlight. I'm just going to take it onto the side just to help with any harsh lines and the look that I'm also going to be taking it into the tear duct because in this photo she doesn't have a really light tear duct highlight but it's very subtle and you can definitely see it That's it for the lid. We are now going to, I'm going to tight line with black. Just because in the photo it's very deep and smoky up top. So I figure tight lining with a black would be our best bet to get a nice deep dark color. Okay, so once you're done tight lining, it does look to me in the photo like she is using maybe a white or a cream color on her waterline um, eyeliner. So I'm using Max Dell eyeliner, eyeliner in Frost Light, and I'm going to be using the Coastal Sense Bent Eyeliner Brush. I'm just going to take some of that. And this isn't stark white, this is a very frosty white, so it's not going to be super noticeable, like stick out, oh my gosh, she has a white tear duct highlight, or I mean, I'm sorry, white liner, but it's just enough. So I'm going to curl my lashes and put on my mascara and I will be right back. Okay guys, so I put on my mascara and I used um, CoverGirl Lash Last um, Volume Mascara and you might want to put lashes on or maybe individual lashes because her lashes in that photo are amazing. Um, but I didn't choose to do that. Um, but now I'm going to take you back a little bit for the cheeks. It doesn't appear like she's wearing blush. Talia discussed that as well. Um, she more has a bronze cheek. So I'm going to be using ELF's um, $1 bronzer, Healthy Glow Bron bleh, Bronzer in Sunkist. I'm just going to take it and smile and just put it on the apples of my cheeks like I would any other blush and just blend it out just to give a bronzed glow. And I'm just using my e.l.f. Studio blush brush. You could use any blush brush that you would like. Um, and now that we have that done, um, in the photo she is wearing a nudie pink lipstick um, or lip gloss. What I'm going to do is, um, is I'm going to take e.l.f.'s mineral lipstick in Natural Nymph. 
first. It is just a nude. Um, it does have pink tones to it. But this is about the lightest nude that I can wear with my skin tone. And then I'm going to be tapping it with Revlon Super Lustrous Liquid Lip Gloss. Or lip gloss. And this is in Pink Pursuit. Just to give that pink. So, I am done with this look. I hope you guys enjoyed. Look out for the next four parts of my Emmy series. And please remember to comment, like, and subscribe. And I will talk to everybody very, very soon. Bye-bye.